What is going on guys? Today we are going to swap out the halogen headlights in my 2003 F-150. Uh, this is something that a lot of people have been doing. I've got some buddies that have done it and it makes huge difference just how bright those headlights are. Uh, nowadays they have just drop-in replacements where you can just figure out which uh, headlight bulb your vehicle takes by an LED conversion and it's just a plug and play type deal. So we're gonna walk through that process. I'm gonna show you some videos of uh, before and after. Uh, allegedly, the kit I bought says they're 300% brighter than a standard halogen bulb, so let's find out. <music> So this is the before from inside the truck. Here's before from outside the truck. So here's the kit I bought, just something I picked up off Amazon. Once again, it's a direct drop-in. We've got 9,007 bulbs in the truck. So this is uh, supposedly a just a direct fit. It comes with a user manual. Got a couple zip ties, because as you'll see, there's a, a little few extra components uh, that come with the LED conversions. So what you've got, you've got the bulb. It's actually got a little fan in the back of it. Uh, keep it cool, these do run hotter. And then it's got the, uh, the box that allows you to just do the direct plug-in conversion for the regular 9007 bulbs. So I'll have to figure out the best way uh, to mount these and what to, uh, what to do with our little converter box and see how it works. Now the one thing with Switching over to LEDs, uh, sometimes you can get uh, interference with your CAN bus system, which is basically the, the computer system in your vehicle, and it can make your gauges do weird things. Sometimes it can set check engine lights, things like that. Uh, the company I bought these from actually said if you run into that, then uh, they'll send you a uh, inline thing to plug in along with the lights. They'll get rid of that if there's any uh, any interference. Uh, there shouldn't be. Actually says right here on the box it's uh, CAN bus ready. So hopefully we don't have any issues with that. All right, the first thing we're gonna have to do, I'm just gonna get this headlight housing out on these. It's pretty easy. Got these tabs. They just pop up then the whole headlight assembly will slide out. Once we get the headlight assembly out, we're going to unplug our electrical connector. Now once we have the headlight assembly out of the vehicle, we just need to get our old bulb out. These just have a ring. It spins like that. That'll come right off. And then the bulb itself just pulls out. Now the thing about using this ring along with the uh, new LED light, it'll seem like it won't fit on there anyway. But what you actually do as you turn this piece, that allows it to slide up off the light itself. What this allows us to do is take the ring and drop it right down into the OEM ring for that headlight. And we can go ahead 
put it back on the light. Turn that ring here till it's tight. Now this can actually go back into the headlight housing. Now before I put the bulb into the housing, they recommend that you have the LEDs facing three and nine o'clock. So I'm just gonna make a little mark so I know where the top is when I get the headlight installed into the housing. I'm going to slide this into the housing. Get my ring to line up. Now I've got the headlight in, the ring snapped back on, and I've got my mark facing up and down. So I know those LEDs are pointing at three and nine o'clock. Now we can go put the assembly back into the truck, get our pig pigtail plugged in, and we're just gonna need to zip tie these out of the way. Once you get the assembly put back in, push both our clips down to retain that whole headlight assembly in. As you can see, these just poke through and this slides up and down to release the headlight assembly. Now I'm just gonna go over and do the same thing for the other side. Now we've got both headlight assemblies back in. As you can see, I've just zip tied the excess over out of the way on both sides. Now we'll see what these look like. As you can tell, these lights are a lot whighter color than the old ones for sure. You can kind of tell by the fog lights. Once it gets dark, we'll go ahead and see how much brighter they are. Our next step is probably gonna be switch our fog lights out to LEDs so they match. Here is the after from inside the truck. Here is the after from outside the truck. Here we are in the same place light shining against the fence, low beams, and high beams. So the camera doesn't really do it justice, but they're a lot brighter. Now I don't think it's 300% brighter like they claim, but I'd say it's at least twice as bright as the old halogen bulbs were. So if you've got an older vehicle just trying to make the uh, headlights brighter, I'd definitely recommend it. Whole lot easier than trying to do HID conversions or anything like that. So catch you guys next time.